We are now approaching the most important phase of development so far, where we'll define how Hellblade will look, feel and play. The goal is to create a small section of the game, about 10 to 15 minutes in length, to a near finished standard. This is what we call a vertical slice, and it's something that we've done for all of our games, but this time the stakes are higher. The independent AAA model is an experiment to see if we can do a AAA quality game, but with an indie sized team and budget. And the vertical slice was going to be a crucial test for this model. So far we've worked out new ways of working for every part of the game. We had a test scene we shot in our capture studio, the basics of our combat engine up and running, we had an idea of how to build the world in Helheim, some music recorded by Andy LaPlega, and an approach for creating enemies. Making them all work together in gameplay would be a major challenge. Dan started working on a new type of environment, a forest, set in the outskirts of Helheim. Balash took the test scene that we shot in our last dev diary and placed it within this setting. And to fill out some of the story elements, we turned to Side UK in London. They helped us cast actors and record some dialogues for use in the vertical slice. Feel your way towards the source. With that, we started introducing some non-combat based gameplay into the level, uh, based on our ideas for story and altered perception. We had a new character design, which we modeled and textured and animated. And in tandem, the coders and gameplay team were working on the AI systems to make sure that he's fun to play against. After 10 weeks of work, we had a level in place that could be played from start to finish. But this is just the beginning of the process. It's very difficult to judge your own work. You're too close to the project. We're, we're too biased to know whether what we create is going to work for other players. We have a small room set up in the studio equipped with a mic and a camera. A couple of people from another team were invited to play the game, while the Hellblade team sat in another room and watched. The session didn't go smooth, in fact, it was best described as a disaster. The combat was really messy and unclear in the new setting, and the AI was really frustrating for players. The level was described as too small, too linear, too awkward to navigate, and yet despite this, people were still getting lost. Senua herself felt very flat and unconnected with the world, just not believable. The team were despondent as the reality of the session hit home. We'd failed to create the experience that we'd been looking for. But you have to start at rock bottom before you can even attempt to reach for the top. In my experience, it usually takes about three goes to make something work and five to make it good. The team gathered and made notes on issues and improvements that we wanted to make. We made a big list and got back to work. To fix the layout problems, we made the level a lot less linear, expanded it, opened it up and dressed it so it helped guide the player without them really being aware of it. Jeff, our new character artist, joined at this point and he started by creating a new enemy variant to add more diversity to the combat. To make Senua feel more believable, we added a system of partial animation so that she could physically react and portray the mood that she's in. To make the combat feel very clear to the player, we animated all of the enemy attacks from scratch and we also gave different visual and sound effects for every single type of attack in the game. Four weeks later, we were pretty confident that we'd addressed most of the issues, so we ran another playtest. As we watched the playtest session, the game pretty quickly unraveled before our eyes. Now, it wasn't as bad as the last time, so at least we knew we were going in the right direction. Um, but it was clear we still had a lot of work to do. Sony at this point invited us to get the game into the hands of journalists at a pre-E3 event called Judges Day. The deadline for this meant that we only had two weeks to get the vertical slice into shape. And so we created another massive list, but with only two weeks left, it was looking pretty tight at this point. The initial vertical slice took 10 weeks to put together. The second pass took four weeks, and the third, two weeks. What we've learned creating a vertical slice um, has given us confidence to face the next set of challenges in development. That's what the true value of the vertical slice is. It's not really necessarily the end result, but it is the setbacks, learning through repeated failure to find the heart of what you're searching for.
final playtest of the vertical slice will be in the hands of the journalists at Judges Day. We'll be presenting the game behind closed doors and we'll find out if our work has paid off. Regardless, we'll be sharing the highlights of the vertical slice before E3.